Hello everyone! For today's video lesson ay pag-uusapan natin kung paano mag-solve ng problems involving oblique triangles using the law of sines and the law of cosines. Ito ay para sa mga grade 9, week 8, quarter 4. Hello everyone! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel ko, gumagawa ako ng mga Tagalog tutorial videos mula grade 7 hanggang grade 11. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe, at i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Just keep on watching! Good day everyone! So, nandito na nga tayo sa inyong pinakahuling module which is yung problems involving oblique triangles. So, malapit na nga tayong matapos. Quick review lang tayo sa ating formula sa law of sines at law of cosines. Kapag ang given ay oblique triangles, ang gagamitin natin ay law of sines at law of cosines. Ito yung mga pwede nating gamitin formula. So, kapag ang given ay side, 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 Ito yung mga maaari nating gamitin. At kapag ang given naman ay side angle side, ito naman. At kapag ang given ay angle angle side or side angle angle ay law of signs. Okay? So, let's start dito sa engagement problem. Number 1, a parallelogram has side lengths 20 cm and 25 cm. So, yung parallelogram daw, merong 20 cm at 25 cm. Siyempre, yung mas maikse, yun yung 20 cm. The diagonal opposite the obtuse angle measures 38 cm. So, alin ba dito sa dalawa ang obtuse? Yung obtuse angle ay greater than 90 degrees. So, ito yon Kasi ito, less than 90 degrees to. Yung opposite side daw ng angle na to ay... 38 cm. So, this is 38 cm. Now, ang question is, what is the measure of the obtuse angle? So, ang hahanapin natin ay itong angle na to. Okay? Let's say ito ay angle A, ito naman ay angle B, at ito naman ay angle C. Ibig sabihin, yung katapat ng angle A, yun yung side A. Ito naman yung side B, at ito naman yung side C. Okay? So, Kapag ang given ay side, 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 ang gagamitin natin ay law of cosines. At ang formula na gagamitin natin ay cosine B is equal to yung dalawang given na sides which is A. Tapos i-subtract natin yung katapat ng given na angle that is B. Gets ninyo? All over 2AC. By substitution, that would be Ang A natin is 25 cm, so 25 plus ang C naman natin is 20 minus ang B natin is 38 all over 2 times ang A is 25 times ang C naman ay 38. Then solve, 25 squares equal to 625 plus 20 squares equal to 400 minus 38 square equals 1,444 all over 2 times 25 times 38 equals 1,900. And then, simplify yung nasa numerator. 625 plus 400 minus 1,444 is equal to, then, kopihin yung denominator. And then, simplify. Pwede nyo namang idiretso sa calculator ninyo. I-divide nyo sa 1,900. So, ang makukuhang sagot is itong value na to. So, nililista ko lahat yung sagot para makita natin kung ano nga ba yung magiging value niya talaga. Ngayon, para makuha natin yung angle B, kunin natin yung inverse cosine ng numbers na to. So, ang gagawin natin sa ating calculator, pindutin lang natin yung shift, cosine, then pindutin nyo yung answer para diretsyo na, and that would be equal to approximately 102.74 degrees. So, Wala namang sinabi kung ilang decimal places ang kukunin natin. So, nag-round to the nearest hundreds na lang ako. And, ang hinahanap lang naman is the measure of the obtuse angle. So, yung angle bilang ang kukunin natin. So, yan na yung sagot. Then, let's move on to another problem. Analyze the picture that was taken during the school-based math camp 2019. The measures of the distances between two given points are in meters. Your task is to find the distance between student A and student B or the value of C. 
So, ang hanapin daw natin dito ay yung value ng C. And as you can see, itong triangle na to, this is angle A. So, yung katapat niya, yun yung side A. Then, ito naman ay angle B, yung katapat niya, yun yung side B. So, ang side A natin is 1.5, ang side B natin is 2.5, then, ang angle C natin is 110 degrees. Ano ba ang given dito? Meron tayong side, included angle, tapos side. Ibig sabihin, ang pwede natin gamitin is the law of cosines. So, ang hanapin natin is C, and the formula is C squared equals A squared plus B squared minus 2 times A times cosine C. By substitution, that is... Ang A natin is 1.5 squared plus ang B natin is 2.5 squared minus 2 times 1.5 times 2.5 times cosine. Ang angle C naman natin is 110. Then simplify. 1.5 squared equals 2.25 plus 2.5 squared equals 6.25 minus 2 times 1.5 times 2.5, that would be equal to 7.5 cosine 110. Pwede nyo namang i-solve ito na diretso sa calculator, pero ipapakita lang natin yung solution niya. So, that is 2.25 plus 6.25 equals 8.5 minus 7.5 cosine 110. And then, 8.5 minus 7.5 cosine 110 equals... 11.065 and hanggang 4. Ngayon, para makuha natin yung value ng C, kailangan natin kunin yung square root ng both sides. So, kunin natin yung square root ng C square. So, magiging C na lang yan. And the square root of this value is equal to 3.33. Kung whole number naman ang kukunin ninyo, eh di 3 lang ito. Okay? Or kung nearest tenth lang naman, pwede namang 3.3 kasi tenth itong given natin. Okay? So, ganyan. And then, last problem, number 4. Two fast food establishments, Jollibee and McDonald, and St. Paul the Herit Cathedral are located along San Pablo Town Plaza. They make the approximate measurements shown in the picture. Your task is to find the distance between the cathedral and McDonald or the value of B. So, ang hahanapin naman natin dito is value of B. Ito daw yung Macdo, ito yung Jollibee, at ito yung Cathedral. So, yung katapat ng angle B, that is side B. I-identify natin yung mga values. Ang angle A natin dito is 10 degrees. Ang angle B naman is 150 degrees. Then, yung angle C is unknown. Tapos, yung side A ay unknown din kasi ito yung katapat ng angle A. Yung side B ay unknown. Tapos, yung side C is 205 meters. So, ang given dito ay angle-angle side. Ano ang pwede natin gamitin? Law of cosines ba or law of sines? Tama, law of sines. Since given na yung dalawang angle, ang gagawin na nang natin ay i-add lang natin itong dalawa, then i-subtract natin sa 180 degrees. So, 10 plus 150 is equal to 160, and then 180 minus 160 equals 20 degrees. So, the measurement of angle C equals 20 degrees. And then, para makuha natin yung value ng B, pwede na natin magamit yung law of signs na sin B over B equals sin C over C. By substitution, ang angle B natin is 150 over B equals sin times ang angle C natin is 20 over ang side C naman is 205. Then next naman is to cross multiply. B times sin 20 equals 205 times sin 150. And then, para makuha natin yung value ng B, ano ang gagawin natin para makuha siya? I-divide natin both sides by sin 20. Para makancel ito, yung B na lang ang matitira. So, magiging B equals 205 sin 150 all over sin 20 na lang siya. Using your calculator, that is 205 times sin 150, then mag-equal kayo palagi. Divided by sine 20, B is equal to 
by rounding to the nearest tens, that is 299.7 meters. So, yung layo or yung distance ng McDonald at Cathedral ay 299.7 meters. Kung gusto ninyong isolve yung side A, pwede naman, pero ang hinahanap lang naman dito is yung value of B, kaya kahit hanggang dito na lang yung sasagutan natin. Okay? So, abangan ninyo yung susunod na video tungkol sa assimilation and assessment problem. Kung nakatulong ito sa inyo, mag-comment kayo sa baba at pakishare na rin sa mga classmates ninyo para malaman nila. Once again, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy at mag-aral ng mabuti. God bless you all and goodbye!